Hi, I'm Jadu Zhu. This is Tobias. I've been coming under a lot of criticism for putting these collars on them. They're a part of a, an indoor wireless fence system for cats. In order to keep them safe and as indoor cats only, after much research, this was the system that we chose. We had this system in place with our two furred cats prior to getting the Sphinx. When I got Bella, she was my first Sphinx, she was actually declawed before she came to me. Something I would never do to a cat, but we had that added to not wanting her to go outside. I did a lot of research because I did not know how the collars would do on her skin. And everything I was saying was not to put a collar on the Sphinx cats because it'll chafe their skin. I finally found a article by a woman that had a Sphinx and the same pet safe system that I got. And she described how she put it on her cat. It worked like a charm and it never bothered her cat's skin. So we tried it with Bella and never had a problem. She does not mind it. It does not bother her skin. All it took was a couple times of walking into getting shocked. She, she knows uh, all she has to do is hear the first sound and she stops and goes the other direction. Same thing with Tobias. Unfortunately, the only way for them to learn about the system is to actually get shocked. This is our dog door. As you can see, it's easy to come in and out. So what we did, this is the transmitter. It's made by Radio Fence and it's a pet safe indoor wireless fence system. And this one is specifically for cats. The transmitter, and we've actually um, put tape over it so that, that the range does not get altered at all, but you can do it from anywhere from two feet up to 20 feet away. That way you can control how close or how far they're allowed to get to the door. This is the receiver collar. The battery is here. It's actually very, very light. This is a newer model. And what it does is when you get within a certain range, it emits a signal an audible signal. They're not getting shocked at this point. It's only if they continue, it changes to this tone, and that's when they get shocked. And it's only as they're getting closer, they know to back off. So when the cats get to a certain range, and they hear this, they know to back off. And all it took was a couple times of them getting shocked each, now they don't go near it. We have a, a transmitter by the dog door and then one by our garage door, which is the door we mainly use to go in and out of. The collars weigh less than two ounces. This is the Radio Fence website. This is a system that we got, the indoor cat barrier. It's got the transmitter and the receiver. This system can be used with however many cats you have. All you do is purchase additional receiver collars. They all go with any of the transmitters. It's got four different levels of correction from light to the strong enough for a very stubborn cat. We have all of ours on the lowest setting. The batteries that the collars use, we've had no trouble finding them at any of our local pet stores. This is a photograph of a kitten we had named Pearl. When Pearl was about a year old, she started going out the dog door. She had grown up with dogs and had no fear of them. We were terrified that something would happen to her because she had no fear. A month after she started going out, she was killed by a group of dogs in the yard behind us. Her death was very devastating on our family, and we don't care to ever go through that again. We put a lot of thought, research, and worry into this before getting this system for the cats. 
But what it has done for us has given us the peace of mind in knowing that our cats are safe. We love them very much.